So I met the Montcuba Center, and randomly, I came across this plant. I'm drawing a blank on the name. It's not something, even among like native plant growers, that they sell a whole lot of. But um, it is uh, like stone flower or something like that. The name will be on your screen. I do know, or jewel something, not jewel wheat, but jewel something. I came across all the way here on this stem. If I can get the autofocus to cooperate with me. <laughs> I didn't think this was a host plant to this type of caterpillar or butterfly, but there it is. One of the, uh, I think it's Lysicid, whatever. I'm not really good with the names. But the ants are tending this caterpillar and protecting it because it's giving off a sort of honeydew, or a nectar kind of thing. It's just a long line of ants going all the way up this plant to protect this one thing here. There are the flowers if someone... Yeah, anyway. So this praying mantis looks like it's caught himself a wasp. And is eating it, even though it's still partly alive. I see a few legs uh, twitching. Yeah, definitely still alive. Yeah, yeah we look like we're a female that has yet to lay an egg uh, casing. Cool. Uh, the plant they're on is a goldenrod, which is a very common plant you'd have here. This is a type of bee that mimics a uh, I'm sorry, this is a type of fly that mimics a bee. It fooled me. Yeah. No, it didn't, but you know. Uh, I believe this is a stained glass moth. It's its name, obviously, because the wings look like stained glass. And here's another one of those wasps that the praying mantis was eating, though this one's very much... has some few... has some life left in it. <laughs> Tons of sweat bees around here. What I call sweat bees. Some of them are cuckoo bees, and yeah, they're, they're just shiny metallic bees. But anyway, goldenrod. This looks like tall tick seed, and then uh, goldenrod, but it's a cultivar, I think. Fireworks, and it is just covered in bees. <laughs> Here is another stand of it. And there's a honeybee in here. <laughs> so this is a great uh, cone flower. I forget if it's in the same... Oh, it's actually a Rebecca down here. Yeah, Rebecca maxima. And beside it is a type of aster. I think this is the cultivar bluebird. Which again is just covered... covered in bees. <laughs> I believe this cultivar is actually a hybrid between two species. One had larger flowers, but didn't have them all over the uh, place. The other one had the flowers all over the place, but they weren't very big. So they found they were able to breed the two together, and this cultivar was born. Esther Bluebird. Oh, is there a slide here? I want to say like five or seven of these plants are actually here. So like you see this little rosette of leaves on the ground. There are stems coming out and they're kind of falling over each other. <laughs> anyway, not quite as busy. 
This is Aster October Skies. It's a type of aromatic aster. It does have a fragrance, but it's not really worth bending over for. Several plants put together, you get this nice kind of. I just want to lay on this. <laughs> well, there are tons of bees all over this. There's a honey bee right in the middle here. Loaded up with pollen, so maybe this one's doing better at producing that, and the other is better at producing nectar, but anyway.